So good evening and welcome everyone. So we might get on with uh, this evening's proceedings. Uh, firstly, we would like to acknowledge this land that we meet on today is the traditional lands for Ghana people and that we respect their spiritual relationship with their country. We also acknowledge the Ghana people as the custodians of the Adelaide region and that their cultural and heritage beliefs are still as important to the living Ghana people today. Uh, my name is Vinesh Bhatia. I'm one of the neonatologists at uh, Women's and Children's Hospital and uh, chair of the subcommittee of the Maternal and Perinatal um, Mortality Committee. On behalf of uh, all the subcommittee members, um, I welcome you to the 2023 Perinatal Forum. Uh, it is the 26th uh, Perinatal Forum and the 16th to be called as uh, the annual Dr. Brian Pridmo Forum. Uh, Dr. Brian Pridmo was one of the leading obstetricians of the uh, state of South Australia. Uh, he did his training in Adelaide and also overseas in New Zealand and the UK. Um, he contributed immensely to the obstetric care in the state of South Australia. Uh, he was also the inaugural chair of um, the organizing committee at that time, which was known as the Forum. And um, in 2007, uh, the Forum was named um, in his memory. So this year's event is being held both face to face and uh, as well as uh, virtually. Um, we have a QR uh, code link here. Um, you, which you can use to give us feedback. Uh, it'll be valuable to have your feedback because it helps us to in the preparation of next year's uh, forum. Uh, I would also like to thank uh, Anthony Coliccio and uh, Shane Reed. They are from the WCH uh, digital media team. Uh, they are helping us uh, filming uh, tonight's forum and uh, this will be edited and then put on the SA Health uh, website. All the previous year's forums can be uh, accessed through the SA Health website as well. Uh, so if you go onto the SA Health website, uh, you can go into the clinical um, resources section um, and the alphabetical index of A to Z and then go into um, Dr. Brian Pridmore forum and all the previous year's uh, forums can be accessed through there. I would also like to thank all the members of the Education Subcommittee, um, Dr. Amy Wilshire, Dr. Morgan Vatani, Dr. Beth Russ. Uh, we also have a number of midwives in our committee, uh, Kirsty Roberts, Kim Parker Gray, Renee Williams, and uh, Lauren Baig, and also senior midwife Kylie Bryant. Special thank you to Kylie uh, because she plays a pivotal role in uh, organizing the forum, uh, anywhere from organizing the certificates, communicating with the speakers, um, and everything else which goes in the background. I would also like to thank Dr. Brian uh, Wheatley. Uh, he has continued to offer his support even after his retirement, and I think he is the one which has kept the momentum of the forum going, and we are very thankful to Dr. Wheatley for this. We would also like to thank our outgoing member, uh, Dr. Ken Wanguhu. Uh, we thank him for his valuable input and support. And we also wanted to welcome um, Dr. Marion Crompton, who's a GP obstetrician in, in Clare. And it's great to have her on board as well. As a subcommittee of the main uh, mortality and uh, perinatal mortality committee, we are also requested to bring to you the recommendations uh, of the annual report. Uh, they haven't been finalized as yet and they're not out as yet. That's why uh, we're not um, presenting them in this year's forum. So now on to uh, this year's forum. Um, it's going to be an interactive forum regarding the perinatal aspects of caring for a culturally uh, diverse community. Uh, we've called it a cultural kaleidoscope. Uh, so this year's theme is a little bit different from the previous year's theme, uh, but I think we will all agree that it is very apt and important um, as we live in such a multicultural society and we care for a diverse, culturally diverse community. Uh, so I think it will be exciting to hear from our speakers. 
We have a wonderful group of speakers tonight. They are, all have rich knowledge in each of their areas and uh, they have each contributed in their own way to make it equitable for the community we care for. Uh, we are really thankful to all the invited speakers because they volunteer their time uh, to help us in this education night. So we're really thankful to you. Our first speaker is going to be Associate Professor uh, Zora Lassie. Uh, she's there on the screen there. She's interstate at the moment, but she's kindly accommodated our request to present virtually uh, from interstate. Um, you'll have some time after her presentation uh, just to ask a few questions. And after that, um, our other speakers will be presenting. And then after their presentation, we'll have a Q&A session. Uh, we'll be coordinating the question sessions, uh, both face to way face uh, as well as through MS Teams. So if anyone at Teams have, you know, has a question, please feel to put it on, put it on the chat and uh, we will put it to our panel members in the end. Uh, I would now like to invite uh, Dr. Beth Russ. She's an obstetrician at Burnside Hospital, just to introduce our speakers. Thank you, Beth. Okay.